Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the top IT jobs for 2021. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we're going to look at the top 10 IT jobs for 2021. I'll count these down from 10 down to 1 in terms of salary and demand. And one thing to keep in mind is the demand for IT jobs remains incredibly strong in 2021. There's tons of opportunity out there. So whether you're just getting started looking for a job, you're just breaking into the field, or you've been in the field for a while, there are a lot of opportunities out there. And the source of this list is from an article I found in CIO Magazine, and I'll provide the link for this at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the list. Okay, starting at number 10 is Help Desk and Support professionals. This is typically an entry-level IT job, but if you look at the pay, uh, and each of these jobs will show by percentile from the 25th percentile to the 95th percentile. And starting at the 25th percentile is around 50,000, topping out at the 95th percentile around 80,000. Still a pretty good entry-level job, and it doesn't require a ton of experience uh, to land one of these jobs. So that's Help desk and desktop support professional for number 10. Coming in at number nine is DevOps engineer. DevOps is the combination of development and operations and is designed to streamline software releases and using techniques and tools to do that. So these are pretty high paid jobs. The by percentile, at the lowest percentile is 97,000. At the 95th percentile, we're looking at 184,750. So this is a pretty well paid job and it's in a ton of demand, particularly with companies now migrating to the cloud where new techniques have to be developed to migrate systems to cloud-based operations. So number nine, DevOps engineer. Coming in at number eight is software developer and pretty much self-explanatory what developers do. They write code for systems, but more and more they're also being more integrated into DevOps operations as well. But if you look at by percentile, 25th percentile, 97,000, and at the 95th percentile, rounding out at 165,000. Again, the cloud is also causing strong demand as companies are re-engineering their systems to cloud native applications. Number eight, software developer. Coming in at number seven is network administrator. And if you look at the percentile of the 25th percentile is 78,500, topping out at the 95th percentile at 133,500. The Demand in this area has always been strong, and it's accelerated a little bit now since many organizations now have hybrid operations with some operations on-premise and some in the cloud, and it's caused a lot of work for those hybrid operations as network administrators secure operations between multiple data centers that are on-premise and in the cloud. So lots of demand for number seven, network administrator. Coming in at number six is mobile applications developer. And by percentile, if you look at the 25th percentile, it's 112,750, rounding up at the top end of 189,750. So the demand for mobile applications continues to be strong. And so the market for developers is also strong. In this type of a job, you'll be looking at programming in something like uh, perhaps Swift for an iOS application or something like the Android Development Studio using Java for uh, native uh, Android applications. And so there's a ton of opportunity here also for converged applications, applications that are web apps that also run well in a browser. But the demand for mobile application developers will continue to remain strong as more and more people move to mobile platforms for all kinds of applications. So number six, mobile applications developer. Coming in at number five is system analyst. And if you look at the 25th percentile, 81,250 up to the 95th percentile of 136,750. So a system analyst is somebody who helps you with the initial requirements of a system. Uh, the framework for testing and validating that those requirements have been met. They're really kind of the glue that holds software development projects together through the development and continued development of requirements throughout the software development life cycle. So number five, systems analyst. Coming in at number four is programmer analyst. And at the 25th percentile is 88,750. Topping out at 95th percentile of 154,500. So a programmer analyst would have skills in both as an analyst in developing requirements, testing requirements, and interfacing with the customer, as well as programming skills as well. So this is a little bit more 
uh, of a select type of person and you might typically find this kind of job in a smaller application development system where the programmer has to wear multiple hats. So coming in at number four, programmer analyst. Coming in at number three is database administrator or DBA. Starting at the 25th percentile is 79,750, going up to the 95th percentile of 160,000. And database administrators have been in demand for a long time. And even though software technology is changing with cloud native applications, still the database remains a solid mainstay of the back end of many systems today. And so the demand for database administrators remains strong. So number three, database administrator. Coming in at number two is cloud architect. And if you look at the percentile, the 25th percentile is 121,000 and the 95th percentile, 202,250. So quite good pay for systems architects. And really the motivation here, these are people that design cloud-based systems and assist companies in migrating to the cloud from on-premise applications, which may be from just moving what's called a lift and shift of just taking applications that are in a particular architecture and migrating them to the cloud without any architectural changes or redesigning them in a cloud native way to really take advantage of cloud-based features and systems. So number two, cloud architect, and I imagine that this would probably be number one very soon. Really high demand if you're certified in this area, uh, a red hot area for almost all companies and they can't find people. There's a shortage of people in this field. So that's number two, cloud architect. So the number one job on the list is security professionals. And this is across a number of area, across information systems, network, data, cloud. There was a huge classification of this in the article, but I really distilled it down to the simplest. At the 25 or 25th percentile is 124,250. At the 95th percentile is 213,000. There really has been an explosion in the need for security professionals for a number of different factors. One is the explosion of threats that are out there and people that are trying to attack systems. And also the huge effort and now migrating systems to the cloud and understanding how both cloud native systems and hybrid systems need to be protected uh, for all the data that's in transport, particularly hybrid applications where you have data moving between multiple data centers and systems. So that's number one security professional. I imagine that this, the demand for this will remain quite strong over time and getting certified in this area is a really good idea and will help you along in your career progression here. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. In summary, the IT job market continues to be strong. Though there is a strong demand for any individuals with cloud skills. So if you're thinking about getting into the cloud, now is a perfect time to do it. There will be demand for a number of years and the market will continue to be strong across all of these jobs I've listed here for the foreseeable future. I've included the source here. If you wanna look at more details and numbers or descriptions of these jobs, you can follow the following link. That's really it for this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like this material, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more material like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. That's it. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.